So my name is Elizabeth Rush. I work for an Upward Bound grant. Upward Bound is a federally funded program that helps high school students prepare for college. Um, most of our students are the first in their family to attend college. Um, they're really driven. They want that education um, and they just need a little bit of extra support in getting that education, mostly because they're the first ones to do it. And whenever you're the first one to do something, you know, you need someone to like give you a little bit of help or guide you on the path to where you want to go and reaching your goals. So I first just want to talk about college in general. I know you guys are freshmen. College seems like really far away. Um, you're like, wait, I have four more years of this to get through first. Um, but have you guys thought at all about what you're doing after high school? Anyone? You guys can probably work. <laughs> okay. Do you know where you want to work, Logan? Uh, no. Okay. Do you know what kind of field you're interested in or anything? Not necessarily. That's okay. That is okay. You know, even by the time students get to be adults um, in college or in their career, you're going to change your career a couple of different times. Um, students change their majors. I, what do you guys think of when I say college? What are you picturing in your head? Anybody? Um, so a lot of times kids will picture, people will picture like a, a big university, maybe a place like the UW in Seattle or like even bigger like Yale or Harvard. Uh, something really uh, elite, um, out, lots of trees, lots of gothic architecture, uh, giant classrooms, and that's definitely one, one form of college. Um, you can go to college, you can continue for four years and get your bachelor's degree, you can go on for eight years and get your PhD or become a medical doctor or a psychologist, um, a scientist. <laughs> Excuse me, but college doesn't have to be that big as well. Uh, college can be anything that's after high school education. And so a lot of people will go to a, a two year technical school. Um, we're really fortunate in Washington State because there are a lot of really great community colleges, local and close. I mean, even Shelton has a branch of um, Olympic College right in town, like five minutes, you can walk to it from the high school. Um, and then you're only like 20 minutes away from South Puget Sound Community College, which is uh, a really cool school that really um, attracts students from all around the world. Um, they've got some, some great programs there. And there are some technical degrees, like maybe you want to be an ultrasound technician. You can go to Tacoma Community College and it will take you two years to train for it, but it's, it's a great career choice for people. Um, you can even go to a school like Pierce College right there in Silicon Lakewood area, and they offer some four-year degrees. You can be a dental hygienist. Um, which will take you four years. Dental hygienists in Washington State, they're not just the dental assistants, but they're the ones that actually go in and do the teeth cleaning and give you a lot of education about your teeth. Those people are making like a hundred grand a year on average in Washington State. Um, you know, you don't start out at a hundred grand, um, but that's the, that's the medium salary. So there's a lot of really cool career options um, that your education can take you towards. And plus college can be a lot of fun. Um, if you like learning, it can be a really great opportunity because it's different than high school learning. You get to be in charge in what you want to learn. Um, you get to ask more questions, go more in depth. I wrote a paper in grad school about why bureaucracy was sexy and uh, cited it out and my teachers loved it. It was great because I'm a giant nerd and I think policy is awesome. And I got to explore that. I got to spend time on that. No one else wrote a paper on bureaucracy. That was, that was pure Elizabeth nerditude. And that's okay because when you're in college, you can have time 
and support to experience the things that interest you. So do you guys have any questions or comments or thoughts on college or what you want to do after high school? Okay, I understand. I know Zoom is really difficult. I know that talking in front of people can be hard. Um, you could throw something up in the chat as well if you don't want to talk out loud, but you have comments, throw it in the chat. I'll read it for you. I, I see Pandora says not really. That's okay. <laughs> um, I want to share something with you guys really fast because a lot of kids end up saying, yeah, I want to go to college, but it just seems like it's, it's too much money. Um, and that's really valid. When I was an undergrad, um, we were, it was expensive, but I paid about four grand a year for tuition. Um, and it's gone up. It's gone up significantly. We used to fund education at a higher level than we do now. So I, I get it when people are saying it's expensive. But there are some really great benefits to living in Washington State. And one of them is the support that the state, not just the federal government, but the state is giving students to go to college. So when you're ready to go to school, um, you'll apply for financial aid. There's a giant form called the FAFSA that you will fill out. And I help students do that all the time. Students who are in my program, students who are not. Um, and everyone fills it out. And then from there, the federal government, big United States of America Department of Education, they have money and they have things called Pell Grants that they give out to students who families make under a certain amount of money. And they can give you the full Pell Grant or a partial Pell Grant. Does anyone know what a grant is? Anyone? So a grant, especially when we're talking about financial aid, is free money for college. You do not have to pay it back. You don't even usually have to um, really apply for it. You fill out one form and then the government figures out all the different grants that you qualify for. Um, so there, it's free money and you can use it for anything for your education needs. So you can use it towards tuition and books. You can use it towards your dorm room or your apartment. You can use it towards food. You can use it for transportation for your car or insurance or buying a new computer or anything else you can justify as saying, I need this so that I can get my education. So the federal government has Pell Grants. Right now they're like $6,000 that they're handing out to students who qualify. But Washington State, they're giving away the Washington College Grant. And depending on what school you go to is how much money they're gonna give you. So if you wanna to go to University of Washington in Seattle, well, that's a pretty expensive school. So if you qualify for it, they'll give you a full $11,000, which is basically the cost of tuition and fees there. Um, if you're going to go down here to, say, the Evergreen State College in Olympia, well, Evergreen's a lot cheaper. So they'll give you $7,000 for Evergreen. Um, maybe you want to go to a private four-year school. Maybe your heart is set on going to PLU, Pacific Lutheran University, or how about St. Martin's in Olymp Lacey. Um, well, they're going to give you $9,000 almost $10,000 for that. It's not the cost of tuition there, but it's still definitely a help, right? Um, if you wanna to go to an online school, Western Governors University, they'll give you the cost of tuition there. Um, they also will give you money for community and technical colleges. So say you did wanna become that ultrasound tech. You make really good money and it's a cool career um, helping people. So you're gonna to go to TCC, Tacoma Community College, they're gonna give you four grand a year to go do that. Again, basically covering the cost of tuition. Now, not everyone gets the full grant, you have to qualify. Um, so you can look here on this nifty little chart, if you're a family of four, and your family makes, say, under um, $50,000 a year, you're gonna qualify for that free tuition. Maybe your parents make a little bit more than that. Um, but you know, that doesn't necessarily mean they have cash sitting around just to give you. So if you make, maybe they make around $70,000 a year. Well, if they do, 
then you would qualify for about a fourth of a um, of the cost of tuition. They'll cover a fourth of it for you. So there's a lot of opportunity here in Washington State. Um, In-state schools are less expensive than out-of-state schools. So if you're coming from out-of-state, they might charge you 30 or 40 grand to go to UW, but in-state it's only 11,000. So that's why I wanted to share about college, that it doesn't have to be a giant thing. It can be a much smaller goal of just getting some training, some certificates. Bates is a really cool opportunity so that when you wanna go and you wanna go work, you have um, the skill set to get paid a good wage and to find competitive jobs that you actually enjoy. I'm telling you that college can be really exciting and fun. It's a chance to learn. Um, you can explore the things that you're interested in. You're gonna meet a lot of different people. Living on a college campus can be a lot of fun. Um, dorms are exciting. Being able to decorate it, uh, being able to set up your own space and living apart from your family, but still like having support can be really great, a great sense of community. I enjoyed college. I enjoyed college a lot more than I enjoyed high school. Um, that's just me, that's my personal story. So that's why I'm, I'm telling you guys about college. Um, I wanna share a link with you. I'm gonna throw it in the chat. This is to a Google form. If you guys could all take a quick second to open that form and maybe just put in your own interest, where you're at, what you're thinking about. That helps me know what's going on. So I've told you about college. I told you about the affordability of college. Now I wanna tell you about Upward Bound. Like I said, Upward Bound is a federally funded program here at Shelton High School. Um, I get, I think it's like a quarter of a million dollars a year to help high school students at Shelton prepare for college. Um, I do this in a variety of different ways. So we, we give um, academic support, that's a big one. We will help you normally be after school in person in the library. We've been doing it via Zoom this year where we will um, you know, just help you with whatever you got going on, help you study, give you a place to study, um, a time to study, so you can be more successful if you are failing some classes. I'll talk to your teachers. We'll figure out a game plan together. I'll go in and I'll advocate for you so that we can figure out a path for you to be successful. Um, and I also like give a little carrot, right? We have monthly stipends where you can earn up to $25 each month just for, for getting good grades. And you're have like a 4.0, just, uh, you know, 3.5, you know, getting mostly A's and B's will get you $25. Getting above C's in all your classes will get you like at least 10. So it's an opportunity to earn a little cash and get a little reward for doing something you'd be doing anyways. Um, we go on field trips. We go on college tours. I bring in career professionals. Let me just show you our Instagram because we do a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm gonna scroll down here to stuff that we've done in the past because um, you know, COVID has made things a little bit harder for us, obviously. So here is my students um, at the Museum of Pop. Took a bunch of kids there. This is my small group. But um, yeah, we went to Seattle, spent a whole day in Seattle. We visited a college campus. We also went to um, the Scandinavian History Museum because a student asked me, Hey, Elizabeth, we do a lot of stuff for Latino culture. Can we do something for my culture? I'm Scandinavian. I'm like, sure, because we listen to our students and what they want to do. Here's going to a TV station. This is Thurston County TV in Olympia, um, where students got to learn about getting on to public access television and making their own programs. And then we took them to Fujiyama in Olympia because we love to take our students out to lunch. We love to take you out to someplace fun and cool. Usually they're hole in the wall places, but they're, they're a good time. Um, we bring guest speakers to come and talk to you guys at campus. This is Miguel. Um, he is an artist, he is a musician, and he's an actor. He's been in a lot of the local Harlequin um, productions at the theater company in Olympia. And here he is jamming with one of our students. 
um, and talking about working for nonprofits and stuff. Like, we try and bring in who you're interested in hearing from. I had kids telling me they want to join the FBI, so what did I do? I had the FBI come visit and talk about career options during lunchtime. Um, here's kids just hanging out in my office in Shelton, back when I could have kids. In, look at how close we were standing. Do you remember when you could stand that close to people and not get, you know, yelled at? I missed that. Here we took our kids to the... <clears throat> statewide conference in Olympia. So there were hundreds of other TRIO students um, on the Capitol steps trying to tell legislators that, hey, we're important. We're students and we want you to treat us like we're important. And you know, we had a little fun while we did it. This is the stipends I'm telling you about. We hand out a form, you fill it out from your teachers and then you get a check for money. Um, so it's, it's pretty easy. Kids are telling me they want to learn about being a midwife, so I brought a midwife in. We do a lot of career exploration and we listen to our students. Uh, um, this boy, he missed his airplane because we took kids on an airplane and flew them to California for college tours and he missed his flight. So I had to stay back and wait for him. I got him lunch and then we had to like have a long journey to get to the hotel. But here we are hanging out. Um, this is the Griffin Observer Observatory in LA. Uh, we went for a hike there, saw the Hollywood sign. Pretty amazing stuff. Here we are at Universal Studios um, doing an educational field trip. It was educational. Uh, this one, this is when we're here in uh, Santa Monica. And the kids, those are our pizzas. Our students are bringing the pizzas. They walked over to the cafeteria. I just chilled in the grass. Sunshine, beach. We had a pretty great time. Um, this, we had another guest speaker come in. Um, this is uh, Sanyu. She works for the healthcare authority and she's an HR specialist. So she came in and talked about both her career in HR, but really just giving career guidance to our students. Um, as a professional uh, about what you can do, um, how to figure out your wants and where you want to be. Um, this is some of the stuff that we've done at the Evergreen State College. We do a six week college uh, um, summer program where you earn high school credit and you get a lot of money. You get to live in the dorms um, and eat food and take classes just like you're a real you know, college student. Here they are. This is like mock interviews for their internship. So they actually sat down with resumes and interviewed people. So it's developing job skills right there. Um, this is one of our volunteer projects where we went to the Boys and Girls Club and hung out with kids. Uh, it was a pretty great day. The kids loved it. The little kids loved it. Um, this is me after I walked to the Evergreen Beach and back. I was tired. Um, we have cultural events. We have events where you get to come in and, and share your own culture. So here is our, um, our potluck. It was a culture night. Uh, we did uh, karaoke and talent show. It was a lot of fun. This is again kids at a college campus. We do a lot of playing pool. I don't know why pool is so big. Oh, here's where the students got to fly an airplane. That's right, every summer we take them to aviation camp and they get a fly an airplane. It's pretty fantastic. And here we are just hanging out and eating noodles. Yeah, I don't sing well, but I sing with fun. So that's the cool stuff that we've done in the past. Um, here's our kids filling out the FAFSA. So we do a lot of fun things. Oh. Harry made grand, um, gingerbread houses. I've taken kids ice skating, uh, college tours. Here we are at the UW campus in Seattle. We went out for lunch. You know, we, we do a lot of fun stuff, but we're also doing fun stuff now. We've done virtual college tours. We've done um, a Day of the Dead celebration. We've done yoga on Zoom. Um, we've had people from the AXIC scholarship come in and talk to us about scholarships. We had a cultural celebration of Dia de los Muertos, 
where I delivered boxes to you to students and they got to like make a dish together. We cooked together. We did a craft together. Um, I've also, I deliver out um, boxes of snacks to students so that you guys, you know, feel the love, you know, all month long that comes out monthly. Uh, we do weekly support for um, homework help and then we play games and stuff afterwards. So today we're going to, you know, at 2.30 we'll have our Zoom and students will show up and we'll work on some schoolwork. Sometimes they need help, sometimes they just gonna sit there and need a time to do their schoolwork. And then after that, we'll do some fun and games. Most of the times they wanna play Among Us. And then, you know, I get killed a lot. They always like to kill me, I don't know why. So that's my presentation for you guys. Um, do you have any questions about either college or upper bound specifically? And you can go ahead and throw them in the chat if you have any questions. They're so quiet. I know my teachers are all like, this is hard. So I actually, I have a question. Yes. So, um, well, a couple. So number one, will you send me the recording also so I can make sure that my kids that missed it um, can see this again? Because this is amazing information. And um, can you also send me so I can make sure to continue putting in our announcements, your info or how they can get involved in TRIO? Because um, so I was like, I got to watch a lot of stuff and, and once in a while got to be a helper chaperone in Centralia where we had trio at our middle school and phenomenal my freshman, my favorite freshman. This is a phenomenal program. And if you can get involved in it, Oh my Lanta, you need to, because this is, this is amazing. And, um, yes, I just want to make sure that my, my kiddos that have missed this today definitely get all of this information. That sounds great. I will definitely share that with you. Um, the Google form I just put up, that's a way that I can collect students' information so that if you are interested, I can reach out and contact you and I will send you my email, Miss Stoney, and I will, uh, I can show you our website. I'll send you the link to that. We have an upper bound website where students can apply online if they're interested. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to reiterate that you can join upper bound as a freshman We'll work with you until you graduate from Shelton High School um, and do everything we can to help you prepare. Now, we don't do the work for you, but we're going to give you support and uh, guidance so that you can go to college if that's what your goal is to do. And we will have a lot of fun along the way. Um, is there any other questions that students might have? That's cool. Um, if you guys can please fill out the Google link that I put out in the chat, I would really appreciate it. Um, and then thank you so much for, for letting me.